Now I'd like to welcome Paul Michael, VP of Global Sales Systems and Process here at Oracle. Paul, you've uh, got some great insights on this rollout we've done inside of Oracle. But before we talk about that, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. How has selling at Oracle changed over the years? Our customers are getting more global and demanding more from us. The changes that we have specifically in cloud, for example, we have a, a SaaS-based selling model and selling motion, and we have a selling motion that's different for Oracle Cloud infrastructure because of the different types of customers and different right. types of needs that they have. And we're able to provide our sales process meeting all of these needs. You know, in the, in the tech world, we really want to make sure that we're managing the customer's needs around what are they going to use the technology for? We're not just selling the, t the technology stack. We want to make sure we understand what do they need and how do we provide that in a way that, um, you know, that meets those needs. So Paul, you know at Oracle, we like to be the best users of our own products, whether that's back office or front office. So as we've rolled out this next gen fusion sales the system into our Oracle sellers. What have you seen as some of the key metrics or changes that you're feeling very encouraged by? Yeah, uh, you know, we started this journey uh, to the next gen interface just this last year, so to, you know, 2021. And when I first saw the new interface, I was so excited. And as we started showing it to sales reps, we actually got them engaged late last year. And they were also getting excited, which really kind of built this momentum around excitement, the, you know, a brand new interface, the fold-out panel, so very exciting for our reps. And it's not just me talking about that. We've got so many quotes coming back from reps like, right. this is so transformational and different. And you know, I think the, some of the metrics that what I would share at the moment is we have tons of thousands of reps all around the world. And just last week, we already have 78% of our users actually using the new interface wow. as opposed to the old one. So incredible excitement out there. And that's their choice. They're, they're choosing to log into the new interface because it's helping them sell. That's right. We, we're offering both interfaces for a period of time. We're actually going to uh, move to all, all of the sellers to 100% of the next-gen interface by the middle of July of this year. Great. So, Paul, you talked about some of the metrics we're already seeing, like 78% of weekly sellers using this new interface, mm -hmm. even when given the choice. So, in addition to metrics you're already seeing, what are you hoping to see in terms of uh, helping you determine whether this has been successful at driving productivity of our sellers? Yeah, yeah, that's really critical for us. We don't want to just you know roll something out and just hope for the best, right? We really want to make sure that we're get, you know we're getting this the sales reps and their managers and all of the users, including pre-sales, really excited about this and also changing the way that they work with the CRM system. So they're not doing the data entry, they're really going in there to, to offer the insights. And a couple of examples of that are really starting to shine through. For example, the new sales dashboard, which is the first place that we want every sales rep to land, is really the place where they wanna manage their business. And it's not just me saying that, it's really the sales managers and sales reps saying, this is where I start my day, this is my book of business, this is how I wanna interact with that business. And once they, they get that broader understanding in the sales dashboard, they can drive into the details of their opportunities and actually get those insights. And the new interface is so interesting because it has these fold-out panels, which have allowed us to really embed knowledge into the process much more closely. And for example, the orchestration that we offer in deal qualification and you know, what's the next best action mm -hmm. has been really critical because it's right there in front of them and offers some, you know, easy and quick insights on what they should be doing next. So it sounds like so far things are going well uh, in the rollout, which is great. We're, we're obviously happy about that <laughs> is uh, building the product for, for you, our customer. Uh, what's next for you in the rollout? Like, what are some of the things that you're looking at, maybe early indications of things that you want to see as, as key, uh, key criteria for judging success. Yeah, so now the qualification process takes about four times faster. Wow. And, I mean, and that's conservatively. Now, another, another interesting one is we want the sales reps to also, from, from their perspective, is to actually manage the, the various customer contacts they have in the system. Which, you know, that's part of a core CRM system, right? right? right. We always want to do that. And that's about 25% less clicks and time in the system to actually do that type of work. So make it very natural for them and very um, easy for them to update. 
Now, as we move forward, we're going to be looking at metrics that are much more you know, aligned to those types of things. How do we make sure that you know, sales reps aren't getting stuck in a particular area? And because we're using the cloud-based deployment, we're actually able to make changes uh, you know, not on the fly, but every month or so to improve and tweak and improve the experience and um, also take all the great new product features that are coming. So, Paul, you're obviously right in the middle of the deployment now, tracking a lot of great metrics that you shared. Thank you. So what are you looking forward to most as you continue this rollout? Well, a couple of things are really exciting on the, on the horizon for us. And one is to deepen our orchestrated sales process and to really provide those insights and those next best actions to our sales reps globally um, you know, for all their different roles. And as we look at their roles, again, we've got tens of thousands of users in the system, and we wanna make sure that the sales dashboard is optimized for each of those roles. Whether you're a pre-sales engineer, you wanna look at something a little bit different than a sales rep does. Right. So we really wanna provide the best experience for each of those roles. The other thing that's really exciting coming up is, is automating that quote and proposal process so that the rep doesn't have to do that administrative work and we can actually prepare that proposal and quote for them without them actually even going into the system. They can actually just do a review and send it off to the customer. That's great. Well, we are super excited about how you're using this new system. So thank you for that. And we look forward to a lot of this new success. So appreciate you being here with us.